Hello to all you healthy blood pressure warriors. My name is Darren Jones, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the 5 common food ingredients that are toxic to your body. Even the most natural food is made up from chemicals. Amino acids, fatty acids, vitamins, minerals, glucose, even water, have a chemical-like effect in your body. Chemicals cause reactions, and many of these food-based chemicals affect your body in a positive way. Protein, which is broken down into amino acids, is used for muscle growth and repair. Carbohydrates, which are broken down into glucose, are important for energy, while fat, which is broken down into fatty acids, is vital for so many reactions in your body, there's no point in starting to list them. Vitamins and minerals also have a vital part to play in the proper function of your body, from muscle contractions to keeping your immune system working efficiently. Of course, chemical reactions can be bad, as well as good. Foods that are toxic, by that I mean, foods that contain unhealthy chemicals, can wreak havoc on your health. They either block healthy reactions from occurring or start unhealthy reactions themselves. Needless to say, toxins and toxic foods should be avoided. Here are 5 food ingredients that are toxic to your body, and so they should be avoided if you want to be healthy. Number 1. Refined sugar, fruit, dairy, and lots of other foods contain natural sugars, which, in moderation, are fine. However, many processed foods contain a huge amount of added refined sugar, which is not just a source of empty calories, it's also highly toxic. Refined sugar causes inflammation and inflammation is responsible for virtually every serious medical condition around. From cancer to heart disease to Alzheimer's, increased markers of inflammation are almost always present. Eating a low-sugar diet isn't always easy as food manufacturers make it out to be, because they hide sugar in plain sight by giving it different and often misleading names. In fact, in ingredient lists, the term sugar is only used to describe white table sugar and not refined sugar. Number 2. Monosodium glutamate MSG is a flavor enhancer used frequently in Asian cuisine and also added to savory foods like potato chips. It makes you crave more and more of the food you're eating, which is good for Chinese chefs and junk food manufacturers, but bad news for your waistline. MSG is not only linked to overeating, it is also toxic to your brain. As an excitotoxin, MSG overstimulates neuron receptors in your brain by causing the firing of so many nerve impulses that they become extremely exhausted and die hours later. In simple terms, MSG can damage your brain's ability to function properly, potentially permanently. MSG is, like sugar, often hidden in plain sight and indicators of its presence include natural flavors, spices, hydrolyzed protein, autolyzed yeast extract, sodium caseinate, boolins, and soy protein isolate. Number 3. Trans fats. Trans fats are unsaturated vegetable oils that have been heated and pumped full of hydrogen to make them behave like more expensive saturated fats. And saturated fats are unhealthy. This process, called hydrogenation, helps keep the manufacturing cost of cookies, cakes, and other baked goods very low, which increases food company profits. Trans fats are also common in many so-called healthy margarines and low-fat goods. On the downside, trans fats are very toxic and are inextricably linked to a wide variety of diseases. Trans fats essentially block healthy fats from being able to do their job, which means certain reactions in your body cannot happen or happen very slowly. Trans fats also increase bad LDL cholesterol while decreasing good HDL cholesterol and increase serum triglyceride levels, which all increase your risk of developing heart disease. Small amounts of trans fats are present in food like fish and eggs, but that's not the problem. It's the abundance of trans fats in processed foods that are having a negative impact on the nation's health. Avoid pre-prepared and processed foods, commercially baked goods, deep-fried takeouts, and overheating vegetable oils when cooking to minimize your exposure to toxic trans fats. Number 4. Artificial Sweeteners Most food-savvy people know that sugar can be unhealthy, especially when you are trying to lose weight. And, despite the food industry, trying to hide refined and added sugars in plain sight by giving these substances different names, lots of people are taking steps to cut down on their sugar intake. Good job, too. However, instead of sugar, the food industry is working hard to promote sugar-free alternatives to the foods we love by using artificial sweeteners such as aspartame, acesulfame potassium, alatane, cyclamate, dulcin, equal, glucin, caltine, macrocytes, neotane, metrosweet, neutronova, 
phenylalanine, saccharin, splenda, sorbitol, sucralose, twin sweet, sweet and low. Xylitol, sweeteners like those listed above, aren't added only to food, but things like lip balms, toothpaste, cough medicine, cold remedies, and chewing gum too. Artificial sweeteners are linked to many acute and chronic medical conditions, including lymphomas, leukemia, cancers of the bladder and brain, chronic fatigue syndrome, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, multiple sclerosis, autism, and systemic lupus. It's safe to say that artificial sweeteners are pretty toxic. If you want a cookie, have a cookie. But choose one made with natural ingredients and not artificial sweeteners. Better still, make your own, that way you'll have complete control over what you eat. Artificial sweeteners are not a safe way to reduce your calorie intake and lose weight and sugar-free does not always mean healthy, especially when toxic chemicals like aspartame are used. Number 5. Charred Meat While not really an added ingredient, many of us enjoy meat that is well-cooked. If you grill, you may even well like your meat charred and blackened. The blackened char contains chemicals, specifically heterocyclic amines or commonly referred to as HCA and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, commonly referred to as PAH, which are toxins formed when muscle meat, including beef, pork, fish, or poultry, is cooked using high temperatures. Both HCA and PAH have been linked to cancer in animal studies, and as humans are animals too. It stands to reason that eating charred meat could increase the risk of cancer in humans as well. Studies also suggest that a significant percentage of cancer sufferers ate above average quantities of charred meat. While clinical evidence is inconclusive, if you want to avoid the risk of consuming potentially toxic HCAs and PAH, reduce your intake of charred meats, fish, and poultry. Cook your food in a lower heat for longer to avoid the formation of these potentially dangerous toxins. In summary, the only effective way to detoxify your body is to not toxify it in the first place and avoid common sources of these harmful chemicals. Magic juices and supplements, sweating in a sauna, or colonic irrigations will not remove these toxins from your body. Your body will detoxify itself given the chance. However, to avoid simply topping up your toxin levels and overwhelming your body's natural detoxifying processes, make sure you cut down or eliminate the food ingredients listed above. Hi there, if you suffer from high blood pressure like I do and you want to receive my educational videos about how to lower your blood pressure, I'd like to ask you to do three simple things right now. Number one, click the subscribe button right there. And then number two, click on the bell icon right down there so that I can notify you the moment I release a new video. And number three, watch another one of my more popular healthy blood pressure videos right over there. Okay, thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.